Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to the Ace of Corbin. <laughs> I'm Rick. <laughs> uh, these Skype injuries just get weird. Um, our normal ones don't. Uh, today, today, a new trailer, or t a teaser trailer, I can't remember, dropped for Vishal Bardwash's new film, Kulf Kulfia? Kulfia? Kulfia. Kulfia. Uh, starring a whole bunch of people, uh, Vish uh, Az Ali... Fazel, our dost, uh, ta dost. Taboo, who we wish was our dost, yeah. and uh, Wamik Wamika Gabi as well. Mm -hmm. But a new Vishal Bardwash film is very, very exciting. Um, Always exciting. We haven't had, actually, a new Vishal Bardwash film since we started Indian cinema. I, I actually I, I came to that realization the other day. I was Correct. like... Since half of our time doing Indian cinema has been in a pandemic, we haven't seen a right. lot of our favorite directors or actors actually in new releases in theaters. We just we correct because yeah, we've been waiting this long for Vishal Bardwaj. Um, because theaters have been closed, so yeah. like we haven't been able to see our favorite actors, directors, new films come out, uh, and we've been at this for three years, um, almost. Um, but there's yeah. a new film of his, and there's just a whole a whole bunch that got announced as well. Finally, we get release dates for a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, 83, uh, like 10 Akshay Kumar films. Um, it's funny. 83 is coming out on Christmas, right? Ranveer's 83. And then Shahid's right. Jersey remake is coming out a week after that. <laughs> so that's... that's yeah. That's talk about competing cricket movies. Um, and then, uh, right. sadly, though, the um, Amir Khan's uh, Forrest Gump remake got pushed again to now February. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, hopefully, we'll be able to get a whole bunch of new releases here soon, starting with this one. So, let's let me read the synopsis here. Justice gets personal sure. in Vishal Bardwash's Kulfia, a spy thriller based on Amr. Bushan's Escape to Nowhere, inspired by true events. And it cool. just says coming soon, and it looks like a, it's a Netflix film. So, all right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, love that shot. Me too. Nice shot. Of the, the score behind it right now. That's Taboo's voice. Yep. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> if you want to know just what sets certain directors apart from others it's being able to put out a teaser that it's just a guy walking through an office but it's still crazy and copies. like 
how imp- it was like so impressive everything about it the cinematography the score behind it the just the, the look of all of it is just it the lighting was magnificent like that's just there's a certain there's a reason we we like like um gush about certain directors it's because they're that good and they're so good right. at their job and vishal is one of our first loves at the directing uh and obviously he's one of the most impressive parts of this was i think the score behind it it was almost like a western uh like score behind it but he's so so talented the cinematography the the score behind it the the um just the whole like feel of it um and i know nothing about this story it was just a guy making copies (laughs) and i'm i'm in yeah and it the look of it and the feel of it is very film noir look like you know, a, a lot of it is paying homage to some of the great Humphrey Bogart crime films, mm-hmm. uh, like the Maltese Falcon. Uh, just and really neat. To, I mean, you know, starts off with the black and white shot, and then goes and it's in color, and then it goes back to black and white. Uh, very, you know, little little tiny Hitchcockian there. Almost, uh, and- just really almost nice. almost bond as well like the music behind mm-hmm. it it was almost bond-esque mm-hmm. and i know it's spy thriller mm-hmm. and i did know i don't yeah. know if i don't think anything's a coincidence with vishal it just like i don't think there's anything a coincidence with on your they they think about mm-hmm. everything but like the 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 paper said for your eyes only for right. for, for <laughs> eyes only and so i don't only. know if that's just like an homage to bond itself uh because it was it was like almost western style slash old school bond music the behind the scene itself and then if if you don't know even though i haven't seen it my wife's obsessed with old bond uh for your eyes only um great film i think that's i think that's her favorite bond actually that film it's a great bond film um yeah she's obsessed with all the old school bond stuff um so maybe maybe i'll watch it but that's the vibe it gave me right yeah absolutely did and it, it, you just even if if we didn't know it was the shawl because obviously knowing it's him we go in with a sense of expectation and excitement uh, i would be impressed with this irrespective because that's just top quality everything in in terms of what we got artist wise it's just the visually the, the, the sound everything yeah he's He's so impressive with his scores because he's such a he's obviously he's such a talented composer. And then to equal that with being an equally talented director. Um, and I don't know if let's see, uh, I'm going to look up the. Because um, certain directors often work with the same cinematographer often. Right. right? Very often. All the time. Um, it's just because though if you don't know on sets. Those are the two people that work the most closely together. That's they're the DP and the director are basically they're the ones basically the directors the he has the end all be all say so, but they kind of have to have a great relationship. Um, they must because the, yeah the, the 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 cinematographer is the one who's going to make the vision happen. So yeah. that relationship is is very much the most. The relationship of the director and the cinematographer and the director to the actors are, are the two most critical, but it, the most critical is the director and the director of photography. Oh, wow. Uh, the cinematographer, let me double check to make sure he, he did it, but when it came up, it was the cinematographer for Life of Life of Pi. Mm, wow. And Dark Knight Rises. Okay, he worked with him on Kamini as well. Uh, that was uh, one of Vishal's uh, films as well, um, the Shahid yeah. film. Um, it so shows. He, yeah, so he's he's worked with him quite a bit. But that's exciting. I'm I'm one thousand percent in. I'm sad this was just a teaser. I can't wait to actually see the the trailer for it, and to see Ali and Taboo uh, working because we you know obviously we we interviewed. Ali and we'd love to interview Taboo. We'd love to interview Taboo. <laughs> you know, we've she's one of the most talented actresses just around in general, all around the world. She's Yes, you know. and she's she's one of the few, we've mentioned this before, um, Irfan and Taboo were the two Indian actors that we knew before 
coming to OSR and being introduced to Indian cinema because they they are so used in not, American cinema that when they're known. Not by name, but we knew them by face. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't we didn't know them. We just were like, oh, that's the guy of, of, from uh, yeah, seen them enough to know. Yeah, them. yeah. But yeah, hundred percent in. I'm very very excited. Um, I'm hoping we're going to get a lot more trailers now from not just this, but like everything else now, since we're actually going to get theatrical releases. And also, did you know um, Renvier now has two films coming out on Christmas? It's not only eighty three. It's the one that we reacted to in the airport on the way oh, to yeah. Mumbai. Uh, airport. Yep. The one with Akshay and Ajay and Renvier, the cop thing. Yeah. Th- that is also thing. coming out on Christmas now. <laughs> so. Wow. It's going to be a Ranveer Christmas, everyone. Uh, well, it'll be a full Christmas, which is why, you know, uh, Amir Khan was like, you know what? Let's move our film to February. <laughs> which is weird. He usually does Christmas films. Anyways, let us know what you thought about this trailer down below and uh, what should be the next Vishal film we watch before this one. Please let us know down below. Just-